Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm April and today I'm painting a cat that belongs to a friend of mine in acrylic paint on an 8x10 canvas board or you could call it art board that I got from the Dollar Tree. The paint is from Walmart and this video is not sponsored by anything in this video. I'm painting this as a gift as well as getting more practice in so I can offer commission paintings again. The paint I'm using is Apple Barrel Black, Artist Loft Titanium White, Yellow Flame the Apple Barrel, Bright Yellow, Kelly Green, Pink Parfait, and Bright Red from Apple Barrel. The paint brushes I used will be in the description below. For the background, I'm making a black and white or black and gray uh, transition from dark at the bottom to light at the top to make the kitty cat's features stand out from the background. So you can see the little wisps of hair and the whiskers. For the eyes, I'm using the yellow colors with a very fine detailed brush because I want to get in little dots of the colors to give it texture and more realism. So first I apply the yellow paint and then I'll mix the yellow with the green to put dots and streaks in the areas of the eye I feel need those spots. Now I'm putting in the highlights in the eyes to give it a more glossy look with just using white water and some slow drying acrylic medium that makes it more sheer and dries a little slower to make it more blendable. Sorry it's a little blurry for it at this moment but it will sharpen up later.
Now I'm using a fan brush, which I actually cut up a little bit to give it some more wispy bristles to give uh, my painting more texture and more fur-like, fur if you know what I mean. I'm trying to make it look furry with my uh, fan brush, and that's what it looks like. I'm showing you in real time how I do it with my fan brush. Yeah. Now I'm going in with my detailed brush to get a more uh, accurate shape of where the little fine hairs are going out of the ears. And since I'm right-handed, it was a little difficult doing it on the left side to make it more wispy. So in a moment, you'll see me turn it upside down. Now it's time for me to make the whiskers and the long, uh, long whisker on top of the head. And I use my, I'm very nervous about using this because I want to make it, you know, accurate and smooth. So I got this long liner brush that I cut up to make even thinner and soaked it with the water and white paint as well with a little bit of the medium. Excuse my head and ear in the way, please. But there we go. I did it, mostly. But that one came out better. Sorry that it's blurry. <sighs> I'll get better at this, I promise. So this is the point where I'm trying to figure out how to make the other side of the whiskers or eyebrows of the cat, however you call them, with my right hand, but I'm like, you know what, I think I'm just going to turn it upside down. There we go. And that actually helped me a lot. You will see. So since this brush was so fun and easy to use to make these um, long, smooth streaks, I decided to use it around the rest of the kitty cat to make the little hairs, little white hairs stand out, or the little white hairs that do stand out in the picture reference stand out in the painting. I continued to paint upside down 
and my reference picture is upside down as well, in case you were wondering. Time for the nose. I erased the pencil, but not all the way, so I can still see what I'm working with. And I mix uh, the pink paint with the white paint at first to fill in the nose. And with a little bit of the red in the very tip where there's a little uh, uh, line, yeah, and continue to shade around the nose. And then I mix green with the red to make brown, to make a little shady color for under the nostrils. And then I continue to blend around and touch up the rest of the painting. I made a little mistake in the eye, I want to correct it, so I got that little spot wet and then took a dry brush to soak up the wetness and then, let's see, I scrape it with the back of my uh, paintbrush and then smooth it out with the dry paintbrush as well as my finger. And here it is finished, mostly. There were a few spots above the ear I needed to touch up, which I did, and you'll see in the final picture at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and comment below. Check out the links where you can purchase my original art and prints and other things. Follow me on social media. Tell me if you like this, tell me if you followed along, tell me if you want more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching again and I hope you have a lovely day. See ya!